This is the AJAZZ AK510 Retro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. In this video, I'm going to talk about this keyboard and from a writer's perspective and sort of compare it to my other mechanical keyboard, the Keytron K2, which is a very popular retro mechanical keyboard. I primarily work on Apple keyboard uh, computers, so I wanted Apple compatible keyboards. There is an issue with the AK510, which I'll get into, but uh, yeah, this video is gonna compare the two roughly and why I have both of them. I was surprised how heavy this mechanical keyboard is. This is no joke. Th this weighs a, a good deal. It's not a light keyboard at all. It's heavy, it's sturdy, it's thick, as you can see. It's only USB powered. It, there's no internal battery, and that plug is permanently there. You can't unplug it or, ch or change cables. These are the blue switches. There's two other styles of switches. Th I got the blue. I understand the blue is the most clicky. Oh, that's so satisfying. So very satisfying. In your normal typing stance, you're over here with your, your index fingers on the F and the J key. And those two keys happen to feel different than all of the other keys. So you don't have to look down at the keyboard with just the fingering position. You can just find it. Uh, it's, it's a different indentation and there's also a little dot. So there's a tactile difference to these keys so you'll always find you'll always find your F and your J to orient your key typing stance. This is also an RGB keyboard. You can change all the settings. I wanted the simplest setting because I get really distracted. I don't use this for gaming. I just have it on its most simplest. You hit the key and it lights up. Uh, if you want to do all colorful patterns, have it glow, it does all of that. You can you can sh shift through them. I don't like that stuff, but uh, it, it has this. And now, and compared to the Keytron, this is both a wired, comes with a detachable USB cable. It's wired here, and it's also Bluetooth. The battery, when you turn it on, you know uh, with average computer use is supposed to last a week and then you charge it again it's it's the batteries charged through the cable here's what this looks like it's it's light it's as light as it looks you have your legs here and this isn't the full it's not the full set as you can see it's also compressed and and in a different pattern than most other keyboards that you'll find if you can see the arrow keys are kind of stuck under the inner key, which is a little different. You have your home keys up and down here. The layout is interesting. And there's also an escape key that adds an orange key, which I like, I like the look. And this is the uh, brown switch model. Here's what the brown switch sounds like. With the Keytron, it doesn't have those indentations and the little dots that separate the uh, F and the J key, but it does have, with the F and the J key, you can see there's a little indentation here, a little bit of a little bump, so you can find it, get that tactile feel of where to orient your fingers. It's It takes some getting used to with the Keytron. I like it, but it's different because of how compressed it is. Whereas when you go over to the uh, the full size keyboard and it's and it's spread out too, it's not just full size. It's the old school retro uh, spacing, and I like it. I like it a lot. I like the travel of each of the keys. Some of the other benefits that are, or differences between these two. This is Mac and Windows compatible here. You can switch it over to Mac and Windows and you could swap out the option and command key to the PC version. It comes with the PC keys, so you swap out the keys with and with a tool that's included with the Keytron, and then you swap it over to Windows, 
and you can connect to Windows. You can connect to up to three computers or, or iPads or whatever else uh, a Bluetooth device you're using and you just uh, sync it here with a, like a key thing and it, it, it syncs and it's there for good until you swap it out. I didn't end up using the Bluetooth a lot because for Mac and I don't know if it's for all the other kind of or for PCs but on Mac when I had it Bluetooth connected uh, it would go to sleep and uh, I'm not sh wasn't I didn't read the manual to figure out the sleep modes but uh, when the computer is to sleep and you're trying to wake it it takes a second for it to recognize where I it didn't do that with the Bluetooth Apple keyboards but with this one it takes a second for the computer to recognize the Bluetooth connection and then it would start and even when I would say I'm typing 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 and then I would take a break you know computer still on taking a break and then I come back to typing it would lose its connection because the uh, keyboard fell asleep and then again it would take a second to turn on so I ended up just using connecting it directly to the key uh, the computers uh, every time I used it if there was some kind of sick fetish with keyboards I have now developed that fetish I love these mechanical keyboards these are my absolute favorite it's a joy to type it's a joy to type as a writer a uh, novice writer and writing is a struggle when you don't have the stim you don't have the stimulation like outside stimulation of when I'm doing video or photography there's a lot of external things to keep me interested and engaged in my mind flowing with creativity when you're writing it's all in your head and when you don't have a good imagination like I have or don't have you need external stimulation external things to give you uh, inspiration and, and push you to write make it a, make writing a joy and I found my personal opinion I found these mechanical retro keyboards for whatever reason inspires me to write more I'm already inspired I'm, I'm inspired this is me inspired I'm I am inspired right now the reason why I have two this is my for my desktop this is this one I have for my uh, MacBook Air so when I'm traveling or I'm in another room I'll use this one it takes me a second to you know get used to the keys but once I do again joy to type I am inspired to write I love it the last thing I'll talk about to adapt this keyboard the AK 510 to a Mac these don't come with Mac keys like the Keytron these are PC keys and if you've tried this you would find it a little difficult to just connect it and have your your shortcuts your 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 control and the uh, option the command keys your command keys when you're doing functions you know copying and pasting all that stuff that you have that's just second nature as a Mac user you you can't get that and there's no easy switch in, in the Mac OS I'm running Catalina so what I had to do was install a third-party app to pr run it on my iMac and then that way I could switch the keys out and make these um, the Mac uh, option and command key software that I used is called Carabiner Elements Carabiner Elements is a free application Mac application you install it and it you can customize the keys turn it into a Mac and that's how I'm able to use this with all of the shortcuts on the um, iMac I will put a link below to where I got the carabiner elements not sponsored by them I just was looking there were a lot of paid applications that I could have used but I wanted a free one just to test out and I've been running this for about ooh, two and a half months and I haven't had a problem I turn on and off the computer instantly everything works it's great so that's my review for both of these keyboards I absolutely love them they're sort of the similar price um, this one is not the RGB version this is just the regular uh, like I think it's just a white light version so this was around 75 bucks this is around 80 bucks so it's very similar in price functionality is completely different but I, I really like them a lot and I feel like these are gonna last me a long time much longer than my computers are gonna last me